Today I'm sharing some of my favorite ingredients for creating expensive feeling, high performance hair care and skin care that delivers results. We'll put these awesome ingredients to work in a super versatile conditioning antioxidant rich hair and body butter that harnesses the power of green tea. Let's get making. We'll start with the ingredients for the creamy base. The bulk of this hair and body butter is three lightweight liquid emollients. I specifically chose fast absorbing ingredients because completely anhydrous or water-free formulations can easily become very rich. And I don't want this butter weighing down my hair or making my skin feel greasy. Our first lovely liquid is ultra fast absorbing and brings fabulous spreadability and a luxurious light feel to the formulation. It's a silky ester made from coconut oil. You'll need six grams of isoamyl cocoa. If you don't have this exact ingredient, there are quite a few alternatives listed in both the free partner blog post and in the newly published entry on this ingredient in the free Humble Bee and Me DIY encyclopedia. You can find both of those on my website at humblebeeandme.com. Up next, we've got a gorgeous liquid oil that works beautifully with the green tea theme of this formulation. It is lightweight with a satiny skin feel and is made from the seeds of the plant that gives us tea. So you will need nine grams camellia seed oil. And lastly, to round out the oil blend with something both light and inexpensive, you'll need 6.66 grams of fractionated coconut oil or medium chain triglycerides. And if you are superstitious, you can feel free to trade a gram of this oil for camellia seed oil. Up next, we need to turn these three liquids into a butter. And for that job, we will be enlisting one of my favorite new ingredients. It'll turn these lovely liquids into a gorgeous, soft, creamy, buttery pot of loveliness. Weigh out 4.5 grams of C10 to 18 triglycerides, also known as butter pearls. If you don't have this ingredient, I've provided some more widely available substitution suggestions in the free partner blog post linked in the description box below. These four ingredients will create a light yet creamy base. And that is lovely, but I wanted to make something that felt downright luxurious and also had some serious hair care and skin care chops. So now it is time to introduce some extra good for hair and skin magic to soften, smooth, moisturize, detangle, and boost shine. The first hair magic ingredient probably won't surprise you if you've been watching my videos for a while. This fantabulous ingredient leaves the hair feeling soft and manageable and downright fantastic. It also feels divine on the skin. Powdery, slippy, silky, substantial, just mwah. And if that wasn't enough, it also gives this hair and body butter self emulsifying properties, making it extra versatile. Thanks to that self emulsifying magic, you can palm blend a bit of this formulation with a splash of water, creating a lighter leave-in conditioner or body lotion sort of deal. It can be both an anhydrous body butter and a sort of leave-in conditioner lotion concentrate, whatever your hair and skin needs at the time. So. For that self-emulsifying silky goodness, you will need three grams BTMS 50. And if you would like to learn more about this ingredient, I did an entire deep dive video all about it. So it's linked in the description box below, check it out. As you can see, my BTMS 50 is a chunky powder rather than white pellets. And that is because I ground it up in my DIY only coffee grinder first. It's kind of a pain to melt and making it smaller helps it melt faster. The second fab for hair and skin ingredient I've included is quite special. It's a potent antioxidant. In the hair, it helps with cuticle repair and makes the hair more water repellent, leaving it more shiny and healthy feeling. And for the skin, it boosts collagen synthesis. It's so cool. You'll need 0.15 grams tetrahexyl decal ascorbate. So this ingredient is pretty expensive, I know. So thankfully, we don't need much to get the benefits. And if you don't have it, you can absolutely replace it with more camellia seed oil. And this product will still be absolutely lovely. For a bit of a creaminess boost, a soft green color and a hint of tea magic and scent, we're also including 0.45 grams green tea wax. So this is the other half of our green tea theme. Green tea is anti-inflammatory and you can't deny it has 
fabulous label appeal. I've complemented the earthy, mellow scent of green tea wax with a complex, powdery and sweet fragrance oil called Radiant Orchid, which is part of Brambleberry's new Valentine's-themed sweetheart collection. You'll need 0.09 grams, and you can definitely use a different fragrance oil or essential oil if you want, just be sure you are minding IFRA guidelines. And lastly, to give this formulation an antioxidant boost that'll help extend the life of the butter by slowing rancidity, you'll need 0.15 grams of vitamin E. And that is it for the ingredients. Making this is pretty simple, but you will want to take care to follow all of the steps to ensure that it sets up properly and doesn't go grainy. Begin by combining the fractionated coconut oil, isoamyl cocoate, BTMS 50, and C10 to 18 triglycerides in a beaker. To melt everything together, I'm using my lab hot plate on low, but you can also use a hot water bath if you don't have a hot plate. Once the BTMS 50 and butter pearls have melted, add the green tea wax and camellia seed oil to the mixture, stirring to combine. The mixture will turn cloudy and that is totally okay, that's what we want, but we also want it to be uniform. So stir, stir, stir. And once you're sure you can't see any blobs of anything, take the beaker off the heat and keep stirring. At this point, we've got three ingredients left. When the mixture has cooled enough to have a bit of viscosity, weigh in the vitamin E and stir. Up next, the tetrahexyl decal ascorbate, and then stir. And finally, the fragrance. Keep stirring the hair butter until you've reached a fairly thick trace. Make sure a drizzled bit of the mixture leaves a noticeable trace on the surface before you pour, or the butter might not set up properly. Pour the hair butter into a tin or jar. I'm using a one ounce paperboard jar from Yellow Bee for this 30 gram batch, and then leave the butter on the counter to set up. Once it's solidified, that's it for the making. There are lots of different ways to use this butter. You can treat it like a hair oil, working a small amount into the ends of your hair. If you have curly or wavy hair, you can also use it to scrunch out the crunch from your gel or mousse cast. You can work a bit of the butter between your palms with a splash of water to create a lighter leave-in hair conditioner. And you can also use it as a body butter. It's soft, creamy consistency, base of lightweight emollients, and conditioning BTMS magic make for an absolutely divine skincare experience. Now that you've got yourself a gorgeous green tea, hair serum, leave-in conditioner, body butter thing, why not make a luscious rice shampoo bar to pair with it? It's made with rice starch and makes a fabulous shampoo and body wash. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Happy making.